hello welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you some things that I have made using a kit from the wonderful Lorna Taylor at Taylor Made Journals on Etsy I was invited to be a guest design team member for Lorna and for Taylor Made Journals I was able to pick a couple of kits that I like now this is just one of the kits and it is a kit of PNGs so that means it's just images it's not um, made up pages or journal ephemera it's just the images this is the paint box PNG set and so from that I've been able to make up all this different ephemera I'm going to go through what it is that I've made and show you just a mere sampling of some of the things that you two can make with one of Lorna's PNG kits. So I just wanted to first of all show you the printed out version of what I've made so that you can see the images as I've placed them on. Now I've got multiples of some things because I just want to talk about how you can use them and, and printing of them. I haven't done any pages, they're all just ephemera pieces using software that you can download for free. I used Inkscape to create everything that I've done here. So I've made a template for an envelope used up as much of the page and these are A4 pages put my image in the middle and I've lined it up roughly where the envelope is going to fold in the front because I want that image to be front and centre and then in the leftover space I've made a couple of journal cards when I printed this one the bottom card didn't print because there is actually another image in there and depending on how I printed it the images came up in different sizes and also why well, I've got three is in different clarities you can see that in particular with the bottles so this one came out really dark this one is somewhere in the middle and this one is much lighter so you can see all the details in the image the other thing is, is this one has got a slight reddy tint to it. So I printed this one in colour. And these two I printed in ink saver. But this one was printed through just printing from the print menu that comes up from the uh, file explorer. And this one was printed from Inkscape. So that gave me the lightest and really clear details. But in some of them you'll see it was actually too light. So you might find that if you're trying this, you need to try where is the best place that you like to print out. Having said that, I'm not going to throw any of these away. I will still use all these images. So we've got the envelope and two um, journal spots there. So now this is one there where I printed it through Inkscape and it's come out, this has come out too light and especially that lettering there. And I prefer the original of certainly of these this one here, I'm still trying to find that happy medium for how, how I like it printed. Um, but this one and like the words are much clearer. This one here for the paint bottle, I'm torn between which one I like. I love the detailing and how clear it is, but like the, the figure here is not as clear as I would like. So I may have to find somewhere in between these two to do it. But nonetheless, so what I've printed out here is I've got a large pocket, a small rectangle pocket, a couple of ephemera pieces, and then a round pocket. 
So again, this is another one that I've printed out a couple of times. Square envelopes. Then I've put in also um, some more journal blocks. And not just journal blocks, but maybe ephemera. So if you're finding that you're not up for designing envelopes or pockets or anything like that, you can just put the images into squares or rectangles, trim them out, and then adhere them onto envelopes that you've got or you've bought from the store. Um, you can put them uh, into clusters. You can put them onto files, anything that you like. So you don't have to go to all the fuss of creating envelopes and pockets you can just print out the images as they are and then you'll see along the way to fill up a lot of the gaps i've just added in words that are kind of related to the art but that i can use in anything so here's another envelope that i've created again when i printed it out and this was through inkscape the bottom image didn't print out and I've yet to work out why that was but so here's an envelope I've created this large rectangle and I particularly wanted this on that corner I was happy for the edge of the image to fold over behind but I wanted this to be clearly on that rectangle there and then this one is upside down because it's going to fold up and it will then be the correct way up so that's just something to to think about when you are placing your images is when you put the item together which way does things need to be up so in there just created a belly band so now this page is looking a lot busier because I've created and I'll have to zoom out a bit oops so I've filled up as much space as I could with words and numbers though again I had a patch of words hasn't printed out but this was a set of six tags and they've all got different tops and then I managed to squeeze in three more images for ephemera now one thing I've noticed is you can see here there's some lines there and also around these images. Now they didn't show up at all in the images when I was working with them. So what I'd suggest is when you are creating anything like this, do do a, a quick printout on just ordinary copy of paper rather than your good presentation paper or card or whatever it is you want to use. So you can see if there's anything like this that you need to go back and erase or amend, adjust for what it is that you want. So here we've got a tall envelope with a tag that fits inside. Then again, I've filled up the spaces with either images or words. This one I have created a um, diagonal envelope. Then I've created a couple of small pockets complete with the tabs so that I can cut around those. And every, I won't forget um, to include those. So I've included those actually in the image. And then again, filled up with words and a couple of pieces that I've pulled out. So these were part of the same image and I've just separated them and put individual bits to create either tuck spots or belly bands, just something different with those pieces. So here I've got a couple of mini envelopes and again, I've got one image heading up and one image, the image heading down because it's gonna fold up and that way both images will be on the same side or will be facing up the correct way filling up with just random numbers 
you know, I've got a whole lot more envelopes. I've just created all sorts of different styles and shapes. And again, you can see there's just that little bit of little marking around the image. So you can either erase that out or disguise that with paint or crayons or some other colorant or maybe do some layering over the top to hide those. Another belly band or tuck and some more words and numbers around there. Another envelope. Now this time rather than it being on the back flap, I've put the image for the back on the fold down flap of the top. And again this one's really clear. You can see that this one is facing this direction. This one is facing towards it. But when it folds over, it will be the correct way around. Now, the, here's an envelope that I printed. This one was in the Inkscape. Um, this was just a test one, so I haven't filled out all the bits. But I could put in a pocket there and another top tuck pocket there. But this one, I wanted to have it almost like these paint tubes here were like the logo of the company and that's so that's going to be folded over and then you've got the envelope and you can put like faux stamps there but i just thought that looked quite smart now for something different i created a set of tabbed cards so index cards so there's four of them there i wanted to leave the plain the the one without the tabs, plain, but I've included on these um, the, the images in the kit that had sort of the most words. I wanted to see what they looked like. In hindsight, what I might have done is perhaps removed the frames from around these so that they look the same, but I wanted to make sure that they would fit inside the tabs and they look really cool once you see the set together. Now this one is for a trifold. So I've got the large image there and you would have seen a couple of these which I'd pulled out earlier and I passed on. So this one is going to fold one and two. So when you open it out you'll see one image, part of the image and then you'll see the whole image. So here I've got a couple of different pockets and then some cards that will fit inside of these. This one here, I've put the frame from here. So that's that same image. This one, the frame is inside the tab line that I'm going to cut around. Here, I've actually sized it so it's outside. So I'm going to just cut away the frame on there and then that will fit inside this pocket this will fit inside this pocket and then I've got some ephemera and some words to decorate throughout another journal so on here I had to put this image onto a belly band it was just too ir irresistible not to and same with this image here I just loved the line up of these paint bottles and then down here I've created four angular pockets like triangle pockets so that when you fold this and this under it will sit on the bottom of your page and then last but not least is a file folder that I've got here and then a couple of images one of a word, one of a piece of ephemera, which I can fussy cut out to include somewhere. These are all the ephemera pieces. And there's the tags. And all of the um, belly bands, or they can turn into tuck spots. So these are all here. Now I've just cut them so that they've got the 
black line around the outside you could cut that off but I figured as I was going to ink around all of these images that's that fussy cut of the pencils stack of or bundle of pencils so I've just cut around these images and I'm going to ink and I figured that depending on the colour of the ink it will just go over the black Now I wanted this particular kit because it was images that I thought I could include with any kind of theme. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a, no, sorry, just sidetrack. So there's two different sizes of the image. And then we've also got it on the tag, so I can include, for instance, these three into an album, and there'll be some consistency there. Three different, completely different treatments. Um, this one I'd use as a belly band. This one as a tag, and this one I'd probably use as a as a like a corner tuck spot. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to have a set of images that I could create into ephemera that I could use with any kit regardless of its theme. So now here's one of the pockets. So folded all the sides in and then that will slot down inside once it's adhered onto a page. This is a coin envelope. So I've cut it up to size. So folding in the bottom first, this side that's blank and that one over the top and then this fits inside doesn't fit inside very well when it's not all adhered together glued together so that will fit inside so that is something that I can put in loose I can leave the flap unattached and maybe put that over the top of a page and then put a paper clip to hold it in place so that's something there then got more pockets so all cut out ready to adhere in place so that's a rectangle pocket and then here's a large vertical pocket so I could perhaps use this with one of the belly bands going in I've then got it's a smaller pocket Again, trim, it, trim out the sides, make sure you include or remove the little notches there so that we don't get too much bulk in your corners. And then this. Now this I would probably put onto um, maybe some tea dye paper or a piece of scrapbooking paper just to give it some extra weight so that it doesn't get too floppy for putting into the pocket and removing then here's this round pocket and it was one that I copied from work that Nikki Adigan or a, a template that Nikki Adigan had given us in a, one of the Facebook groups it's junk journals I can't remember the name of it but I'll include a link for both Lorna's kit, so you can find her Etsy shop, as well as um, any other links that she has, but also the group for the templates. So there's a pocket, and again you can put anything in there, or if you wanted to just turn it into a corner pocket, you can always trim off, for instance, that corner, 
and then you don't have to worry about anything that fits in within that area there. I've got a couple of small ones, but then I have large triangular pockets. So I've designed them so that I've got opposite corners. And then I've got, I'll just tuck that inside there, two of the same image. These are the um, mini envelopes. So just fold over the sides, adhere up the top, and then it, you can put some extra journal cards in there and extra space. It's a second one like that. And then these are some of the envelopes, just to show you. So that's that one there. I said we've got that. When we flip it over, there is the image the right way up. So they're opposite when it's open, but they're the right way up once it's all folded up. Same with this, we've got that little wee image there, and then we've got an image on the back. Now for this one here, I would probably trim it a little bit shorter so that I'm not crossing over all those words of the image. Another one here that's just plain. Now this is the one where I wanted to wrap around the image around the corner because I knew it was going to be covered with this image here. And there is a little bit has gone underneath as well. But I wanted that to sit there, so you'd normally address the envelope. And then on the back, you've got something as well, but there's still room for an address or other decoration. This image here wraps around the corner. And it was my bad folding. This one here, I wasn't happy with the lining up. It was the um, diagonal one. And... It wasn't till I printed it out that I worked out that all my alignment was out. So I need to um, redo this image here. But it still was able to fold up. Okay. And this one here. And I've just got a small version on the back of that same image. This is the one with that sideways, and that's on the back. This is one of my favourites, I like this. See, so so good that I made two of it. We have some square envelopes here. Now this is the set of tabs, so we've got the blank page. Then we've got each of the tabbed folders so they can either go sideways or front ways and then you can um, bind these all together if you wanted to so that you have tabs or you could put them into a small journal slightly slightly bigger than this and have these as divider pages I'd put again I'd put these or back them with either cardboard or um, paper, at least and a second layer of paper, such as tea dyed paper. Now this is our trifold one, so this particular design's got spines on either side, and it opens out to the full image. And this is the file folder, the last one, folds in half, you've got the image there, opens out, and you've got second tab. And again, this is one of my favourites. I love this particular words. I'm definitely a fan of topography.